Hey y'all, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today we're going to do a canvas and we're going to do a pour over a bottle, a, like a Coca-Cola or Pepsi, whatever your uh, choice of drink may be, bottle, uh, over the bottom. So um, we're going to be using four colors and we're going to see what kind of design we can get from this. So let me get set up and get right to it. I have a 12 by 12 canvas here and I'm going to be using four colors. Uh, I'm going to use this light ivory to kind of go around my outer edges and to use intermittently with these colors. Um, I've got a, this is a mix. I didn't want just a bright stark yellow so I added a little bit of spice brown to yellow and came up with this kind of a golden, golden color. And then I'm going to be using black and then I also have a metallic pure gold. And then I'm going to be using, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be using the bottom of a Coca-Cola bottle, plastic bottle. So I want to go around my outer edges here. For starters, I've mixed each of these paints with Floetrol at a one to one or maybe a little more, one to two ratio. The Floetrol, I usually use a little bit more. But I didn't want it, I don't want it so, you know, so thin that it's just gonna go dashing off my, uh, my canvas because it'll take my whole entire uh, pattern with it. So you, you wanna kinda watch that. But we're gonna give this something, uh, when we start pouring, I wanna give it something here to kind of attach to to hopefully hold the pattern in on the canvas. You may end up having some runoff. As long as you don't let too much, it won't take your whole pattern with it. Or that's what we're hoping. Now I have attempted to get this canvas as level as possible. I've used these little hooks on the back and my trusty little uh, level and tried to get it as level as possible. As I've mentioned in the past, my table is set up in a garage and as you know, uh, most garages are not level. They're built on a slope. So while I've even got things on my table legs down here, uh, I still run into issues. But, you know, we do what we can do. So I'm going to use, place my little bot bottle bottom right here, pretty much in the center. And I'm going to start with black. Just going to kind of pour it here in the middle and let it flow down these little indentions that are on the bottom of pop. Huh? We don't call them pop in Texas. Co we call everything a Coke. So on the bottom of the Coke bottle, and in this case this was a Coke. Got a little drippage going, but hopefully we'll cover that.
I'm going to add throughout just a little bit of my ivory that we put on the outer edges. As you can see, each time it runs down, it's pushing the, the layer before it, pushing it on forward. Give each one just a second to flow on down your, your little uh, bottle, bottle bottom because uh, it you want it to flow as much before you start the next next layer I'm going to turn this because clearly my leveling got a little off. So I'm going to see if I can give that side an opportunity to flow a little bit more that way. This is something unlike when we just pour and manipulate the canvas. This takes a little more patience. But that's okay. We're not, you know, you don't want to rush it. I'm going to rotate it again just a little just because, like I said, I think that my, I had it leveled one way and I turned it when I was doing the, just to give it equal opportunity here.
Isn't that just amazing how it creates this look? I'm just letting a little bit, just a tiny stream drizzle here, more or less in the center. And then it should just take off down all, all the little sides here. And it has completely met our background all the way around. put the gold. I like the gold up against the black. Okay, I'm going to let that <clears throat> finish flowing uh, just a little bit there so we'll get all that we can off of it. I'm going to very carefully pick this up grab it to where I won't have any drips and as you can see that closed right in. I'm going to just take my popsicle stick and see if we can just continue our 
design through here. Now there's several things that you could do at this point. If you want to manipulate it, you can do a little manipulating. Um, you're going to totally, it will change your pattern. Uh, it will, if you, but I kind of like this like, just like it is. I like having the negative space. I've got some places with my ivory I'm going to need to touch up. But uh, basically I like it just the way it is. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to do any manipulation. I'm going to let it dry. Now that being said, there is a good bit of paint on here, so it's going to take it a little while to dry. This also doesn't mean that it won't go on and flow. Now what we hope is this putting this outer edge that it kind of set up just a little bit that it's not going to take this because if this edge starts flowing, it's going to take your pattern with it. Not that that's a bad thing. Try it. See what you come up with that you, that you like uh, because there's certainly nothing wrong at all with doing that. Uh, it's just, you know, your, your imagination, your creativity, and you want to make it, you want to make it yours. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I, I certainly appreciate you subscribers. If you're new to Design by Kathy, I hope you'll subscribe as well, and let's continue on with this fluid painting journey. Uh, again, don't forget to check the links below. Uh, there's a link to my artwork as well as my Amazon page that helps support this channel. Thank you all so much and hey, I look forward to your thumbs up and your comments. You all have a great day.